Peter can be confident of the victory on point. And Greg Case takes it a touch for the first time in a long, long while. You know, they got to let it all hang out this round. This round might be the round. You never know. You don't know how the judges are looking at it. And nobody favoring the champion. The club has got to let it go and let it all hang out. This round may save the bout, which has been less than scintillating to this point. It has had its moments go in the last three rounds. Days like this, if it is a close decision, you can almost count on the champion keeping his title. Cubs, if it is close at this stage, would have to overwhelm him here in the 50th round to have a chance on that. I don't want to use this all night long, but the guy in the white trunks is going to win. Carl. <laughs> I'm going out in the limb. <laughs> that wasn't quite the limb when you went out and said that Hagler would win in three in Las Vegas. Well, that was a limb. <laughs> Watch your southpaw. That's you're only a twist standing on a twig right now. <laughs> well, you know, like you said, it's a hard fight to call, but you know, I, I think the tough definitely had his had an edge in all the rounds, but you never know how the judges are seeing this. Questionable blow on the way in, thrown low that, by Page. That was a tremendous move. Cubs ran in, he dropped both hands of his weight. Well, they're going full speed ahead right now. You've got to give them full marks for that. That's the halfway mark of the 15th round of the WBA Heavyweight Boxing Championship. So, that was on the leg or the thigh. <laughs> Kneecap. <laughs> you say it's real caution to the win. It'll all hang out here in the 15th round, and as a result, it's been the best round of this fight. Best fighter to two looking right now is Cubs, the way steady and smoother. I think so. More fluid than Page. The more so in the last five or six rounds, in my opinion. Well, I think Page has been very tired the last, uh, I would say, six, seven rounds. It yep. doesn't seem like he's had anything left. Yeah, the judges take that into account as we're inside 30 seconds. And for a couple of big men with big punishing blows, they have failed to take each other out here in Buffalo tonight. Less than 10 seconds remaining now. As Page fires the chopping left hand, Cubs responds to the combination, back to the middle of the rope, over on the near side of the ring, and it'll go to the hands of the ringside judge. Don Chevrier, Angela Dundee, Carlos Palomino back with you at ringside as we await the decision to determine whether Greg Page succeeded in retaining his recently acquired WBA Heavyweight Championship that picked up in South Africa last December, or did the late rally in the final half dozen rounds for the challenger from Cincinnati, Tony Thugs, impress the judges sufficiently? Until then, he really couldn't pick a winner. The decision has to rest on the last third, certainly, of this 15-round bout. Page's prediction of a knockout did not materialize. Tubbs certainly had enough in his right hand to do it, but didn't seem to want to throw it that often, as you saw throughout the bout. And it came down to a 15th round being a very good round of boxing to perhaps compensate for the ones that preceded it. Earlier, Hector Camacho won a very impressive but tough unanimous decision, and he will be in the ring against Jose Luis Ramirez, the WBC lightweight champion. Many of these stations from the Riviera Thursday, June the 6th will be there in Las Vegas with you. And of course, Davey Hilton, an exciting member of the Hilton family, will be in action. Randy Texcoff, remember him? Well, he'll be in there too in the heavyweight rank. Now, let's go to the ring announcer for a decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. And the scoring by points as follows. Judge Joe San Garcia scores it. 145, 140. Judge Al Walensky scores it. 147, 140. And Judge One. Albert Primari scores it. 145, 142 for the winner. And the new World Cup to the first. Tony Tubbs has upset Greg Page. So 
those final six rounds likely turned it for us. And Cubs and his entourage are ecstatic to the center of this Memorial Auditorium ring here in Buffalo, New York. Greg Page simply did not get enough done. Either early in the fight when he wanted to knock him out, or certainly later when obviously Page was right out of gas. Cubs wins it not only unanimously, but rather comfortably by a five and a seven point margin and by a three point margin on the eyes of the third judge. So it's been quite a night here in Buffalo. Back with more for you after this word from your local station. Now, instead of the... So Tony Tubbs takes Greg Page's championship away here over 15 rounds in Buffalo. And earlier we 